Welcome back, everybody. Um, I hope you've been refreshed and rested, and um, you're almost all the way through the day, so well done for keeping with us. I know it is a long day with lots to concentrate on and lots of lights and stuff. Um, so well done, everyone, for sticking with us. We're in the last final chunk of the day, um, which is my favourite and the most exciting, because we have um, the presentation of the Brass Band Awards, um, where we get to really celebrate some amazing people. Um, and then we have the panel discussion, uh, really, really getting to the core of today's topic, um, banding for life. So, to present the awards, first of all, um, we have our chairman, Mike Kilroy, and today's keynote speaker, Ian Balsfield. Good afternoon, everyone. This is probably my favourite part of the day, honouring people that have been amazing and done wonderful things for us. I'm delighted to have the pleasure and honour of announcing the winner of this year's Brass Band England Awards. So fantastic that the awards can be announced and presented at this year's Brass Band Conference in person here at the Life Centre. Uh, the last two, of course, have uh, been uh, online and I've had the uh, pleasure of awarding uh, to Paul Hindmarsh, Richard Evans, of course, and, uh, of course, um, people like Gordon Higginbottom, who was here and uh, got a Lifetime Achievement Award in our very first one uh, live here. Um, this, these awards are judged by panels of experts from across the banding sector, and the winners across the seven different award categories include outstanding individuals and organisations that have made a tremendous impact on brass banding in their communities and nationally. The nominations for these awards grow in number every year, and it's truly wonderful that our brass band community wants to pay tribute to and celebrate the amazing achievements of so many people. I'll announce the winners, and the awards will be presented by our conference keynote speaker, Ian Bowsfield. Thank you, Ian. So, the first award is the Brass Bands England Social Impact Award. In 2006, two friends who both play the cornet in a brass band sat talking over a cup of tea when one of them revealed it had always been a dream of hers to form an old ladies band. But she'd only ever got round to thinking about it. It was decided that it was about time that something should be done to turn that dream into a reality. Within six weeks, they had enough volunteers to form a brass band and to perform a concert. It was decided that any proceeds from this concert will be donated to charity. Since then, they've raised over £250,000 for cancer research, whilst motivating women players across the UK to join them together to fight cancer. The time and effort they have given to this cause and the passion these ladies have is simply amazing. So this year's Brass Band England Social Impact Award goes to the founders of Boobs and Brass, Margaret Betts and Jane Nichols. Um, actually, uh, Jane cannot be uh, with us, so I'm going to ask Margaret's husband, Keith. Oh. Where are you, Keith? <laughs> Come on, Keith, to so collect the award on behalf of Jane. Yeah, I need to Uh, the next award is the Brass Band England Innovation Award. The recipient of this award is continually pushing the boundaries of what a brass band can do with innovative sets such as Musica de los Muertos, which gave the most entertaining band awards at both Bolfsover and Witchhaven contests in 2021. The band, under the baton of Jack Capstaff, 
is bringing the brass band genre to those who would never ordinarily attend a brass band concert and sending them away in awe of just what brass bands can do. The imaginative use of AV, professional vocalists, and even non-brass instruments to enhance its music is a surefire winner and brings audiences back time and time again. It's innovation at its best. The winner of the Brass Band England Innovation Award 2022 is Derwent Brass. Brass Bands England Band Project of the Year Award. This new award for 2022 goes to the creators and participants of a very special collaborative project for a very important cause. This project involved the performance of an original piece of music which were originally intended to update the message of suffragette Ethel Smythe's March of the Women to reflect modern feminism. The murder of Sarah Everard by a serving police officer in London sparked an ambition to create a collaborative arts-based project, the composition and performance of a new piece of music on the theme of preventing violence towards women and girls. A poem, Enough is Enough, written by the recipient of this award, formed the basis of a new piece, a new anthem, which was performed at a concert as part of the York International Women's Week 2022 programme and it featured guest soloist Siobhan Bates of Black Dyke Band. Students from Sarah Everard School attended and the proceeds were donated to Survive, a charity that supports victims of sexual violence. The recipient of the Brass Bands England Band Project of the Year Award is Tracy Maguire in association with the Femmes Fortissimo Brass Band. <laughs> Next award is Brass Band England Outstanding Contribution Award, 18 and under. This young person has provided 13 years of service, most of their life so far, to Lions Youth Brass, making them their longest serving member. Joining age six with the benefit of excellent tuition, commitment and dedication, they've moved up through all the tiers of the organisation and are now an outstanding bass trombone player regularly performing solos to exceptionally high standards. Our winner is also a band representative, acting as a point of contact with band members with concerns or ideas, and then liaising with their committee. They contacted band members during lockdown to check in on their welfare and mental health, and also helped organise the band's tour to North Wales this year. Their main priority has been ensuring the players have the best possible experience within the band. This year's Brass Bands England Outstanding Contribution Award for 18 and under goes to Liam Gill. Next. Brass Bands England Outstanding Contribution Award over 18s, bizarrely. The Outstanding Contribution Award goes to a person who has been involved with the Uni Brass organisation for many years, originally as chair of the contest, then as a trustee, but most notably as chair of the Uni Brass Foundation for the last four years. Over this period, they have committed countless hours to the advancement of brass bands in the UK, especially at university level. Our recipient has overseen the growth of the Unibrass Foundation 
and had an enormous positive influence on this charity's projects, which have had a national reach and have been crucial for ensuring the continuation of brass bands through the promotion of the art form at university level. This person has been a pivotal contributor to projects such as Unibrass band camps, conducting courses, artists in association and building links with local youth and community bands. It's no exaggeration to say that many of these projects simply wouldn't exist without this year's winner, a testament to their incredible determination and leadership skills. The Brass Bands England Outstanding Contribution Award 2022 goes to Andrew Strayton. Now, Andrew can't be with us today, so I'd like to invite Thomas Hicken of Unibrass to come forward and collect this award on behalf of Andy. The Brass Band England Services to Youth Award goes to a person who has given hundreds of children and teenagers the opportunity to play in brass bands where many children would not have had the chance to do so. Their dedication over many years has given children the opportunity to learn to read music, play a brass instrument and to be part of something very, very special. More than that, it has given these young people purpose, relevance and confidence for their future life. Our winner has made a phenomenal contribution, not only in playing, but also conducting for many years. Success is second nature to our recipient. They have led Wardle Academy Youth Band to numerous titles, including the European Championship three years in a row. It has been a delight to have members of the Wardle Academy Band to provide music at this year's conference. And the winner, of course, is... Uh, well, they win two things, actually. There's the Brian W. Hicks Memorial Shield and the Brass Band England Service Youth Award 2022. And the winner is Lee Rigg. <laughs> Unfortunately, Lee, Lee can't be with us, so Colin Aspinall, who's probably a similar age, I think. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to collect us on his behalf. Just bear with me one second, please, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Colin Aspinall. I'm a good friend of Lee's. We've known one another a long, long while. Uh, but I'm here this afternoon to accept this award on behalf of Lee Rigg, who unfortunately can't be with us today. Lee has made a few notes for me to read out, and I'll do that if it's OK. He spoke, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen and members of Brass Band England. I'm sorry I can't be there in person to collect this fantastic award, but I am honoured to have been asked to follow, sorry, but I am honoured to have asked a fellow ex-Black Dyke player and a founder member of James Shepard Versatile Brass, Colin Aspinall, to receive this award on my behalf. I consider myself very lucky to work in such a great team of music teachers at Wardle Academy all of whom worked tirelessly to promote music with young people in our area. I am very happy to accept this accolade on behalf of the whole music department at Wardle Academy. Thank you very much, Lee Rigg. Thank you again. Yeah, nice to see you. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> 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 so
So, to our final award. This particular award uh, that we've given over the last few years has meant quite a lot to me because the people who've been recipients of it have had the pleasure of getting to know, being my heroes, uh, playing alongside them um, in various bands and groups and things. Uh, and then they become your friends as well, something I never ever dreamt would happen uh, as a youngster. So, um, and I mentioned some of the names earlier on. So the Brass Band's England Lifetime Achievement Award, this recipient was a brass teacher in Yorkshire for many years, forming and conducting numerous youth bands, guiding and inspiring young people to achieve a sense of personal worth through a deep involvement in music or to become teachers themselves. The ability to teach youngsters while at the same time inspire older generations really sets this person apart. In 1971, this person received the insignia of honour at the National Finals in the Royal Albert Hall for his services to brass bands. He's toured extensively in the pursuit of promoting the best of British brass throughout the USA, Canada, Australia, and most of continental Europe. As a player, they've left, left a lasting legacy of over 60 recordings of solo and full band performances, displaying prodigious talent and ability. Their reputation as a player generally acknowledged as have been one of the finest cornet players of a generation and possibly of all time has been an example and role model for others to strive and emulate. Having been principal cornet at Black Dye Mills for 10 very successful years before forming an exciting and innovative brass ensemble, their consummate professionalism, incredible modesty and humility belie their outstanding abilities in both technical achievements and teaching expertise. This year's Brass Band's England Lifetime Achievement Award goes to the one and only Gentleman Jim, James Shepherd. Thank you so much. Thank you to, to Mike and for Ian for presenting those awards. It's always really exciting um, to see, particularly when it's a complete surprise for everyone um, that you've won those awards. It's really amazing for us. Um, just a reminder that um, if, if you feel that you that from seeing the people who have been nominated today, you can think of someone immediately that should be nominated for, for an award next year. Don't forget about it. So if you have a look in your program, um, you should be able to see a link for when you can be reminded when the nominations go live for next year's awards. So if you can think of anyone right now um, that you want to make sure is celebrated next year, make sure you fill out that form so you'll get reminded of when that goes live so you can celebrate with them at next year's conference. <laughs> 